Hi, my name is Jay McGavern, and today I'm going to show you how to make a shared canvas that people can draw to over the network in Ruby. We're going to be working in the TK graphical framework. TK should be available out of the box with most Ruby distributions. We start by creating a TK canvas with a specified width and height, and a canvas is just a bitmap surface that you can draw to. The pack method is just a TK convention. It uh, positions the canvas within its parent window. As a quick example of drawing, we'll create a TKC oval object. Its parent will be the canvas, and we'll give the upper left X and Y coordinates and the lower right X and Y coordinates. The main loop method on the canvas will start the thread that displays the GUI and listens for user events. Start our script and you see our canvas with our oval object, actually a circle, there in the middle. Now let's create a simple network service that will draw to this canvas. We start with the distributed Ruby library and we'll create a remote canvas class that will become the network service. So we start a new class dec declaration and any methods we put on this class will be callable by our clients. So we create a simple circle method that takes an X and a Y position to draw to and we'll paste our oval drawing code in there but instead of those static coordinates we'll take X and Y coordinates from the client. And we don't have to make any declaration on the service class itself saying it's going to be network enabled. We just call the start service method on DRB, give it the URL that the object's going to be served from. I generally specify an actual local IP address because otherwise I find only my local host can connect if I say local host. And then you pass it the object that will be served up. In this case, we'll create a new instance of the Remote Canvas class. Let's quickly go back and correct a little oversight of mine. The Canvas variable isn't visible within the Remote Canvas class, so we'll pass that as a parameter to our constructor. We store it as an instance variable, and then reference that instance variable within the circle method. And when we create our object, we'll pass that in as a parameter. Let's run our server. And here's our shiny new network enabled canvas. But now we need something to draw to it, so let's create a client. We require DRB and start the DRB service. And we'll create a proxy object for the remote canvas that will act just as if we had typed remote canvas.new locally. To create the proxy, we call DRB object.new and pass it the URL where the object is, real object is being served up. And with the proxy object created, we can call methods on it just like the original. So we call the circle method and pass in the X and Y coordinates where we want to draw. Run our client, which calls that circle method, and then display our canvas, and you can see the circle we just drew over the network. Put in new coordinates and run the client again and you'll see the server is updated again. Now we come to a problem that all network services face, that of security. Since you can call any method on the object you're offering up as a service, that unfortunately includes methods like instance eval that descend from the object class. If you remove a method from the local proxy object, that forces it to be run on the remote object. So we can say something like instance eval and a system command, run our client, and if we switch to the server window, you'll see that it was executed on the server, that ls command. Now I'm sure you can imagine something much nastier, such as removing all files. So we really want to take this ability out. Fortunately, that's easy to do. On the server, we simply set Ruby's safe level to 1 or higher, which will disable instance eval and similar dangerous methods for network calls. So with our environment made safe, we can go back to having fun. Let's create a client using Rubato. That's the Ruby environment for Android phones. We create a Rubato activity, and then as always, we require DRB, 
and start our service. The setup content method is run when the activity starts, so we'll use that to set up our proxy object. As always, we give it the URL to connect to. And we'll set up the client to draw circles in places we touch on the touch screen, but we need something to get touch events, so we create a new Rubato view object to receive them and add the appropriate imports, of course. When you press the touch screen, the handle touch event callback is called to process the event. And the event object has X and Y attributes with the location of the screen press. So we'll just call our circle method with that X and Y location. If you're running an Android emulator, you can push your Rubato script to the virtual SD card with the ADB push command. So send your script to the phone. Then launch Rubato. Select the script. And execute it. And so when you touch the touch screen in the emulator, it calls the circle method on the service and draws to the canvas.